In this video today, we're gonna to be going over three questions. Number one, should you be deadlifting? Number two, what are the benefits of deadlifting? And then number three, how to safely, effectively, and progressively deadlift so you can reap all of the benefits that I'm about to go over. So let's go back to the first question, which is, should you be deadlifting? And the answer is almost always yes, okay? If you're a baby, you should be deadlifting. If you're a teenager, you should be deadlifting. If you're old as you should be deadlifting. And yes, even if you have some sort of severe disability, you should be deadlifting. I mean, look at this guy. He has cerebral palsy. That's 200 pounds on the bar. He's absolutely crushing it. Literally, every excuse you've ever had in your life has just gone out the window. Now that we've established that you're pretty much 99% capable of picking heavy shit up off the ground, let's go into the benefits of doing deadlifts. Number one is you'll have bulletproof abs. Number two, buns of steel. Number three, you're gonna be able to run faster. Number four, you're going to be able to jump higher. Number five, you're gonna have a stronger upper and lower back. Number six, you actually will be able to avoid a low back injury when you deadlift effectively. Ancillary, but important. Guys, on Hinge or Tinder, you can now actually say you're six foot because you're gonna be an inch or two taller because deadlifting dramatically helps your posture. And then conversely, so I don't leave you girls out, deadlifting will make you look younger. So you don't have to lie about your age anymore and you don't have to show pictures from four years ago. Look at Courtney here. See the transformation? That's from deadlifting. Seriously. Moving on. So the first thing that we need to be going over, which I feel a lot of these deadlifting instructing videos don't go over, it's very important, is starting position, okay? A lot of people aren't able to you know, safely and effectively or have the mobility to pick a barbell off the floor with weights on it. So you wanna make sure that you have that range of motion before you even try to do that, all right? So what Alex is gonna do here is he's gonna descend into a deadlift, going down, 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 freeze, bring your knees back just a little bit. He can keep a pretty neutral spine with pretty much that natural lumbar curve, all right? Which is very, very important. Now, if you have a client or if you're doing it yourself and you're coming up and come back up and you're going down into a deadlift and you start to feel like you're pulling from the lower back, that is a bad position. You should not be pulling a bar off the ground weighted until you can get down into that position where your back is neutral, your spine is neutral and you have that kind of natural lumbar curve, okay? So again, starting position is very important to make sure you protect the lower back and you don't herniate any discs or do anything catastrophic that's gonna take you away from your training overall. Okay, so now that we have established starting position based on your current mobility, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through step by step exactly how to do a deadlift safely, efficiently, and progressively. All right, Alex is gonna be demonstrating for us. So what you're gonna do step by step, number one, you are going to approach the bar with your feet about hips width apart, all right? Number two, you're, the bar is gonna be about an inch away from your shins, all right? Number three, you are gonna hinge from the hips, not squat, hinge from the hips and bend down. Don't worry about your back rounding yet, but you're gonna grab the bar equidistant with your hands right outside your legs, all right? So number four, you are gonna pull the bar to your shins and then also with this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop the hips a little bit and pull the shoulder blades together, all right? Then number five, what you're gonna do is you're gonna envision that there is a crack between your feet and you're trying to spread that crack with your feet. So you're pushing the floor wide, all right? This is gonna help engage your glutes, engage your abs, which is gonna protect your lower back overall. Come here a little bit more. Good. Then number six, we're gonna go for the lift. What you're gonna do is you're gonna push the floor away from you Weights in the heels, breathing out and coming up. He kept pretty good with the neutral spine there. The other thing that you want to remember while you're ascending into that motion is that you want the hips and the shoulders to rise at the same rate, okay? You don't want the hips to pop up first and then come into this position. Now he's gonna descend in the exact line of motion that he came in, kicking the hips back. Bar stays slightly behind the shoulders. He's gonna scrape the bar against the shins all the way down and he is gonna come to a dead stop. That's pretty much all you need to know about deadlifting, y'all. Don't wanna overcomplicate it. Don't wanna make you think too much about it. Rewind this video and watch it over and over and over again until you really lock these things in. Remember, starting position is very, very important. So, I hope this video helped. Thank you, Alex, for helping out, and we will see you in the next video.